Hey y'all, Pam here with Be Creative Crafts and welcome back. Today, I'm going to take y'all shopping with me at Hobby Lobby to pick up some yarn for a jacket I'm working on and to show you a little bit of our store so that you can see what the one looks like in my area and compare it to the one in your area. Alrighty y'all, so this is the square I was making hanging over my stairwell to give y'all an idea of how big it is for that jacket. And I'm not going to have enough yarn, so... I decided to come to Hobby Lobby because it is 30% um, off yarn week. And so I brought my swatch here or my square here so that I can match up the colors and I may just have to start over, but I'm gonna see what they've got. <clears throat> this right here is Hobby Lobby, this multicolor. But so yeah, so I'm gonna run in here, show y'all where I'm at here. Let's see if you can see the Hobby Lobby sign. Oh, there it is, Hobby Lobby. And one thing I like about this Hobby Lobby is they usually have a really good yarn selection. Alrighty, let's go inside and see what we can find. All right, y'all haven't even made it in the store yet. I'm in their little entry lobby area. And look at that Nutcracker, isn't he the cutest? I'm gonna have to wait for him to go on sale because he's pricey, but he is super cute. All right, moseying on inside. Oh, here's what our little entryway looks like, in case y'all wondered. Okay, so we got our floral section off to the right, and then some fall florals here in the middle. Show y'all what my Hobby Lobby looks like. In case y'all don't have one in your area. Ooh, cool. Well, that's pretty cool. I really like the Buffalo Check stuff. There's some of our florals and fabric. fabric. Oh, this is the fabric section. All right, y'all, we're almost to the yarn. Yarn, yarn, yarn. More fabric. And more fabric. Yarn, yarn, yarn. Here we are. 30% off. Woot woot. Yeah. This is all like the notions aisle. And cross stitch. Where you can get all your hooks and whatnot down there. So we're going to mosey on over to the yarn. I'm just going to show you all this real quick. So we got two aisles of yarn here. Clearance at the very end. And two more aisles right here and right here y'all whoop I see more clearance so we're gonna have to go check that out all right so let me back up okay I think this will match fairly well cranberry it's not exact but it's pretty close like I said, I may have to start this all over with the uh, new colors, but that's okay. I think that'll work. Oh, wait. And I've got some of this at home already. That might would work too. Red tweed. I do have a few of these at home. That might work. With the little tweedy dot specks on it. Oh, wait a minute. Look at this one, y'all. That's very fall-like. What color is that? Da, 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 da. The wrong way. There it is. Aubergine? Auberjan? I don't know. Oh, I like that too, though. Almost like that better. That gives it that really deep fall red. Okay, I think 
I'm gonna go with that for now and put this one back. I know it's totally not at all the same, but that's okay. And then grab two of these. Stay. Okay. Stay, stay, stay. There we go. Grab two of these. In case y'all are wondering, this has 355 yards, 325 meters. It's 100% acrylic. And this is super soft yarn, y'all. Okay, what other colors do we need here? Okay, if y'all are unfamiliar with Hobby Lobby, all of their yarn, the I Love This Yarn, is arranged by color. So you have all of your reds together and all your whites, blacks. Then it merges into the pinks and different forms of pink and the variegated of pink, green, blue, all the way down. All the way down the rainbow. Ooh, yep. And I see my green. What is this called? Forest. Yep, so we're gonna get two of those. Oh wait, what's this one called? What are you called? Dark olive. Hmm. Oh, I don't know. Hmm. Y'all, that sage is coming across, or not sage, that dark olive. It's coming across lighter than it really is. It's in my camera here. It's darker than that. But let's see which one I like better. I think I like this one. I think I like the forest. Let's go with two little forest. Back down here. Okay. Mosey. Well, wait, 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 wait. Let's kick it in reverse here. I gotta get two of these. This is what, this is called burnt pumpkin, and this is what I was using for the orange already. But I'm gonna go ahead and grab two of those. Now, I'm not gonna buy any more of this variegated because I have quite a bit of it already at home. But, if I see it, I will show you what it's called. I don't think this is it. I don't think it's the jazz stripe. I may have to look when I get home and see. But I think that's it. I think it's the jazz stripe, but I'll check. I think that's what it is. I think it's that one. But we'll check. Okay. And now we're here at the Navy. And I do want to get a couple of these. I did add that. It did go back and add Navy here. What I showed on Instagram the other day did not have that. But I did go in and add that. So we're going to wrap two of those. Let's toss those down there. And since I'm not matching exact, doesn't really matter. Okay, so we still need to get the purpley color. Let's mosey on down here. Oh, there it is. That's the purple one I want. And this one is called purple. Well, that's an accurate name, huh? It's like a dark purple. Very fall-like. And we're going to grab two of those. Okay, so now let me just give y'all a little perusal here. Like I said, this is just in case y'all don't have a Hobby Lobby. Um, wherever y'all live. Or maybe you do, and maybe yours isn't fabulous. But I really love my Hobby Lobby. Like I said, they usually have a super awesome, fantastic selection of yarn to choose from. Look, they got the scrubby yarn. This is the scrubby yarn I like. It's 100% cotton, the little scrubbies on it. And they do have an, oh, they've got rid of the other scrubby. This right here makes my finger, I just, I can't work with it. It's, well, maybe I can. It, it just, it's sandpapery feeling on my fingers. Ugh, and so is this, I can't. If y'all can work with this, y'all are amazing. But this right here just makes my fingers feel like I'm working with sandpaper. If y'all, y'all may love it though. I mean, it has a lot of beautiful colors. <clears throat> I 
And this is what I made a few of those uh, washcloths with that I showed not too long ago. Or maybe I didn't. I may not have uploaded that video yet. If not, I'll show y'all some of these. I'll insert some pictures and show you what those look like worked up. What this is, is it's their cotton. Let's see if they've got their cotton right here. I don't see it. Here's some of their cotton down here. Nope, that's sport weight. Well, Cotton may actually be on the next aisle over. Or they've moved it. I thought it was right here beside it, but I bet it's on the next aisle over. But anyway, it's their cotton. It's a, <clears throat> who's this by Lily? It's, it's cotton and the scrubby mixed together, but it's the Lily brand of the scrubology. It's the same, but it's just a different brand. Okay moseying onward. We're gonna go check out this little clearance section up here, y'all. Alrighty. Oh, there's some cotton on the end down here. There's a bunch of cotton. Cotton, 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 cotton. The big cones up top. They also have crochet thread. And a big ball, big balls of thread up top. Okay, let's see. Oh, what's on clearance? No yarn. Just some fabric. There is another clearance section. I may go check out right quick while I'm here. Okay, we'll go up this next aisle. Show y'all some of the stuff that they've got here. There's all their baby yarn. Which, as y'all know, you can use baby yarn to make anything. It's just super soft. I do have quite a bit of this stuff down here on the bottom at home and all the different pretty colors. So. Okay, here we go. Here's all the cotton. They have all different kinds. We got more big soft blanky yarn. Ooh, that's pretty. Fruit flavored. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you doing? I'm doing all right. <laughs> I've got all the colors of the mustard on this thing. Ooh, sugar well cotton. Y'all, this is super duper soft. Hmm. 335 yards of a three weight. That's so soft. Y'all should try that cotton. It's wonderful. I really like it. <clears throat> but here's their cotton. They have a ton of colors to choose from. Like I said, that's one thing that I really like about my Hobby Lobby is they're really on the ball with keeping everything stocked and getting ordered. Um, the lady I was talking to just a second ago when I cut out, um, she's over this department and she's going down through there with her little um, clipboard or her iPad and she's marking down what she needs and what she has plenty of and what she needs to order. So they stay on top of it, which is awesome sauce. And she was talking about a mustard color and y'all, that would look really pretty tossed into the mix with this was a mustard color, add a little more yellow to the fall, which that was initially in my thought plan when I was designing this blanket, but I didn't have any mustard color in my stash at home. Mustard or a gold. So I wanna be back over to the other aisle and maybe pick up one. And maybe I'll do all the centers the same, like all the centers the same color, like mustard or all of the make this row right here be all mustard I don't know we're gonna go over there and check it out I tossed one in the mix we're gonna try it this one's called sun gold I wanted one a little bit darker but that is as dark as they've got 
guess I'm gonna grab one more of those so that I have two. And this is the tweed. What is this one called? Sweet, look, sweet Dijon can't get more mustard than that, huh? <clears throat> but I think it's a little light. But it does have those little flecks. I don't know. I think it's a little yellowy. I mean, I think it's too bright. I think I like the darker. Okay. Y'all, when I first came around the aisle, there was a little guy standing there buying yarn for his lady. He had her on uh, FaceTime so she could see what she wanted as she was picking it out. <clears throat> so he said he was gonna, he said he might get her some, some brightly colored stuff just to mess with her. I was like, hey, yarn is yarn. You go right ahead and buy her that. Like this one's called mustard. But it's not the same. This is polyester. Everything else I've been buying is 100% um, acrylic. <clears throat> Let's see how that stands to color on that other. It's a little yellowier. I think I'm gonna stick with that. But anyway, it was funny. Oh, there's another Dijon. It's more of a green look. It's acrylic and polyamide. Alrighty. But anyway, it was funny because he said, uh, he said she would freak out if I came home with rainbow yarn instead of what she asked for. She's making a blanket and what she asked for is very neutral colors. I'm like, no, no, no. You don't get that instead of. You get it in addition to. You buy her what she asked for, and then you also toss in a couple more schemes of what she didn't ask for. Add to her stash. <sighs> Y'all, this stuff is so soft. It's another mustard color. This is super thin. Let me show this to y'all. <clears throat> This is a three weight acrylic polyamide, but y'all, it is so, 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 so soft. <clears throat> Put it back in here. I'll show y'all how thin it is though. It says it's a three, but oh, it's thin, 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 thin. I've got some at home, not this color, but I haven't used it yet, but it is so, 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 so soft. Those are really good, rich fall colors right there. All right, y'all. I'm going to be bop over to the far corner where they have a few more clearance items. And then I'm going to pay and get out of here and head over to Walmart. That'll be in a separate video, but I'm going to go over there right quick. And if they have anything, I will come back on and show you what they've got. If not, then I'm gonna go pay and I will see y'all later. Y'all, look at this puzzle. I think it's a puzzle. I love that old truck stuff, y'all. I think this is a puzzle. Yep, oversized puzzle. Like I like the red truck, but now they've got a green and blue and orange. Oh, there's one with a red truck and a bunch of doggies. <clears throat> These are on sale for 40% off. All right. Cruising on down the road, y'all. Oh, I am going to pop in the uh, candle making aisle because I want to see if they have any wicks. I'm sure they do, but I'm looking for the wooden, wooden wicks. Okay, I hooked it up another aisle. This is where they have all the soap making stuff and the, the, um, Makeup, you can make makeup. I bought one of these y'all, so I can make be creative stuff because, I mean, come on, it was super cute. You can buy resin. I thought maybe the candle stuff was on this aisle, but it may be on the next one over. Again, I'm just showing y'all all this stuff because I know some of y'all don't have Hobby Lobbies that might be watching. Oh yeah, here's some candle stuff. Ooh, they're running low on candle making stuff. 
It's also on sale, so all their blocks are sold out, but that's okay. I don't need any blocks at the moment. Oh, look, there's another one that makes like the bees, beehive look. Okay. All right, so here's some wigs. Hmm. Which, I was looking for the wooden wigs, but I'd already looked online and saw that they were out, out of stock, so. But I wanted to see what kind of scents they had. Because I read, I don't know if y'all watched my uh, video on the, where I made the um, Starbucks candle, but that wick burnt really quick. And so I was reading and I was talking about if you use the wooden wicks, which I was thinking about switching it out for, um, I said to soak it in the oil. So I didn't know if it was like the, but I wanted to see if they had any, I don't see it, but. Um, I think it looks better than mine. But it said soak it in oil first before you insert the wick and it'll help it burn slower or burn better, burn longer. But anyway, all right. Alrighty, and we're back out of that all. There's another lady walking by. I try not to videotape people because they may not want to go on to YouTube land. Uh, and all the styrofoam, the heads and whatnot. You can get kids or adults, men, women. And then all the different little size star styrofoam blocks or circles or s squares, balls, footballs, reforms, tree forms. We're almost to the corner, y'all, I promise. Oh, look, this is all the doll, dollhouse stuff. So if you wanted to make your own dollhouse or design it, think about all these great kits and all the little dollhouse furniture. Isn't that really pretty? Oh, look at it. It's a grand piano, miniatures. But anyway, I wanna make dolls. They have all the stuff to make dolls, hats, googly eyes. Here's the other clearance corner. Letters, papers, ooh, crap of paper. Let's see what we got down here. Clay projects. I also have clothing like to do your cricket stuff on or sublimations. Okay. Well, I don't see anything that I just have to have. I don't think. Oh, wait. Maybe. Ooh, knocking stuff off, y'all. I don't know. That's a little journal. $1.74. That's a really good price. Regular $6.99 for $1.74. Oh, here's another one. The Kindness Journal. Multicolored pages. Your daydream, y'all. You can make glue. Okay. All right. I'm gonna pay and head over to Walmart. So I swapped out the variegated and I went back and picked up this brown. Okay, so here are a couple of pictures of four of the completed squares. I took one with the flash, one without. I did decide to go ahead and use the gold as the center for all four squares. And I'm gonna keep the outer, let's see, one, two, three, four, four rows the same. And then I'm gonna alternate the inner colors 
just so that I can keep the yarn pretty well evenly distributed so I don't run out of one color before I run out of the other but yeah so this is what it's going to look like thank y'all for coming along with me on my shopping trip to Hobby Lobby I hope y'all have a fabulous day and until next time happy crafting bye